The Historical Timeline of the Universe from the Big Bang to Today The universe, as we know it, is believed to have begun with the Big Bang about 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, it has undergone a multitude of processes that have shaped it into what it is today. From a hot and dense chaos to the formation of galaxies and stars, the universe has given rise to life and civilization. In this article, we'll take a closer look at the historical timeline of the UN. From a hot and dense chaos to the formation of galaxies and stars, the universe has given rise to life and civilization. In this article, we'll take a closer look at the historical timeline of the UN. Earth and the major events that have taken place over the past 13.8 billion years. The Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. The universe is believed to have begun with an explosion known as the Big Bang. Scientists infer this based on observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is a faint radiation th. T pervades the entire universe. It is thought that at one point, the universe was a hot, dense, and singular point that expanded rapidly at a phenomenal rate. T pervades the entire universe. It is thought that at one point, the universe was a hot, dense, and singular point that expanded rapidly at a phenomenal rate. Inflation and formation of elementary particles, within seconds of the Big Bang. Following the Big Bang, the universe continued to expand and cool down rapidly. During this time, the universe underwent a process called inflation, which caused it to expand massively in a fraction. F a second. After this, the universe went through a process of cooling, which allowed for the formation of elementary particles such as quarks and electrons. F a second. After this, the universe went through a process of cooling, which allowed for the formation of elementary particles such as quarks and electrons. Nucleosynthesis, within minutes of the Big Bang. Around three minutes after the Big Bang, conditions in the universe became suitable for fusion reactions to take place. This process, known as nucleosynthesis, led to the formation of the light elements, including deuterium, helium, and lithium. These elements would later be used to form the stars and galaxies that we see in the universe today. Including deuterium, helium, and lithium. These elements would later be used to form the stars and galaxies that we see in the universe today. Formation of the first structures, within 400,000 years of the Big Bang. In the early universe, matter was distributed almost uniformly. However, slight variations in density led to the formation of the first structures in the universe, which were hydrogen and helium gas. Logs. These structures would eventually collapse under their own gravitational force to form the first galaxies and stars. Logs. These structures would eventually collapse under their own gravitational force to form the first galaxies and stars. Formation of galaxies and stars, 400 million years to 1 billion years after the Big Bang. As the universe continued to expand, the first stars and galaxies began to form. During this time, gravity played a crucial role in the formation of galaxies. Dark matter, which makes up a significant portion of the universe, provided the necessary gravitational force to clump together gas and dust to form galaxies. The first stars were much larger and brighter than those we see today, and they cue. portion of the universe provided the necessary gravitational force to clump together gas and dust to form galaxies. The first stars were much larger and brighter than those we see today, and they cue. Ickley used up their fuel and exploded in supernovae, which in turn led to the formation of heavier elements. Formation of our solar system, 
about 4.6 billion years ago. Our solar system is believed to have formed about 4.6 billion years ago from a cloud of gas and dust. The cloud began to collapse under the force of gravity, forming a spinning disk. In the center of the disk, the sun formed, while the matter around it clumped together to form planets, asteroids, and comets.